Hey folks, you guys have a Toyota that has a uh, driver's side visor problem? Okay, it seems to be a common problem. Sometimes you buy the aftermarket ones, they just suck. After about a month, they have the same problem. So the problem seems to be in this hinge area over here. It's the thing is plastic inside. It's two halves, okay, and it's supposed to um, this arm here just sticks out in there and it's clamped together and that's the whole idea of giving a little tension but what happens is that the grease that's in there it's still grease it's not, it's not like it's hard so I don't understand why it doesn't work but I think the plastic separates and then that's where the problem is so instead of buying another visor this is the original one as you know yeah. let me take it apart and see what I can do about it yeah. so I took it apart re-greased it again yeah. And then you know what I did? I put two screws in there. It's not pretty. One on the bottom of the arm, one on top of the arm, with a little nut on the other side. And that's it. I'm done. Because you spend like $30, you know, eBay or Amazon to buy one, and it's just the same junk. It just makes a clicking noise, and it just stays up in like a partial thing like this so you know what put two screws in it as good as gold okay just gonna sew this part of it up and make it look almost new all right that's what I do I'm gonna go sew it up otherwise good as new people I'm tired of buying the bootleg ones they just don't work all right thanks for watching Alright, so here's what it looks like after I sewed it. Not a great sewer, but you know what? Better than nothing. There you go. Okay. That's the best I can do. You know, it is a 2012 Toyota Venza. So it's 12 years old. Material started to come off. But anyway, here it is. Working as good as new. Alright, now I just want to show you what that bracket looked like, okay? Here's what it is here. Okay, it's a little U bracket, goes this way. Then there's a metal bracket here. And this gets sandwiched between the two halves of the visor. So it holds it, okay, like that, so it doesn't spin. And then this shaft is just gonna spin and that's the whole idea. What happens is that the two halves of the visor, uh, under tension, I guess when this thing starts to break, it's gonna separate. And once it separates, then that bracket just keeps turning around. And that's where you hear that little click sound from. All right. So basically what I did was I took the shaft. It's on this bracket here, like this. Okay. And what I did was I just put a screw here and a screw here. And that just tightened it up. So now the bracket is not moving at all. So yeah, so you can see the two screws it's right here. I'm sure maybe you can use rivets or whatever you want to, but just two little machine screws, one there and one over here where you can't see it, and it works perfect. All right, I'm going to turn this up a little bit with one hand. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. All right, so one screw here, one screw here. I put the head over here, and I put the nut in the back. All right, so now once it's up in the air, then you're good to go. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like I said, there's got to be a reason why these visors keep breaking. And buying the bootleg ones, no matter how expensive you buy or the cheap ones, unless you get an OEM one, which is probably discontinued, just fix the old one. It'll last just as good. All right. Thanks for watching. Ciao. All right. So here it is in action. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It'll show the two bolts here. Okay. But it works. Okay, here's all the positions. It's good as new. And it has that same click to show that it's all the way up. All right. So what we can do. Show sure beats those aftermarket ones. All yeah, right. Thanks for watching. Ciao. 
R.I.P.